chicken chop suey today. And if you actually have eaten chicken chop suey, or any chop suey for that matter, I hate to say it, but you might be dating yourself. It's an old classic dish. Cities and you see the neon signs over the Chinese restaurants, chop suey. That used to be one of the dishes along with chow mein and fried rice and egg rolls, right? But today it's kind of gone out of vogue, but it doesn't mean that it's not good. Chop suey is actually two Chinese characters. Zha sui, which also zha sui in Mandarin. What that, what the first one is, zha is just, uh, just a variety. Okay, and uh, mis you know, a variety of things, top. And then sui means, you know, broken or miscellaneous or variety of things. So top sui together means just, hey, uh, whatever you have that's laying around, that's all that you gathered together. So that's why we also, I also like to call it a fridge cleanout dish. So whatever you have in there, I mean, today we have snap peas, or you could use snow peas. Uh, celery, we have mushrooms, we have carrots, some bok choy. You can use anything in your fridge. If you've got some red bell peppers, you like green bell peppers, you want to put some broccoli in it, napa cabbage. Bean sprouts have traditionally always been there. In the restaurant, we used to use bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, and that's exactly what the dish is, top soy. And the same thing with the uh, meat. Today we have velvety chicken, but you could use pork, Maybe you have some beef le uh, left over that you can slice up that's uh, cooked even, like a, like a steak or like a roast beef, like a rotisserie chicken maybe, and you make your chop suey. The anchor for all this is gonna be the sauce, and then you've got a little garlic. You know, in the days, let's say in the railroad days where uh, there was a cook cooking for a crew of Chinese, and what does he cook? He, he, he wants to cook whatever he can grab together, so he's got his Soy sauce is main sauces and aromatics like garlic and ginger or what have you, and then he'll throw that together. And then the, pe the guys would say, hey, what you, what, what's for dinner tonight? The guy would say, zap soya, you know? And just a variety of stuff together. It's like, oh, okay, I got you. As long as we got rice <laughs> and, uh, and, and a little bit of uh, something in the, from the wok, we're good. So today I'm gonna show you how to make it. Real quick, super quick, let's go to the wok. As usual, I always say you got to get your setup, your mise en place, whatever you want to call it, and you have everything at arm's length, everything ready, just like we showed you before. And this has been velveting and marinating, so this is going to be very moist and tender, which is why we velvet. We don't velvet with baking soda, remember that. You can check my um, post on how to velvet chicken, um, because I think it changes the characteristic of the chicken a little bit too much, and it doesn't need it, unlike beef. So first sear the meat, take that out, and then we're gonna cook the dish, and in no time, we're gonna be eating chicken chop soup. Now you see this little bit of smoke is starting to, starting to come up. So I'm gonna coat the wok, a little oil, and our chicken is a little bit wet because we put a little bit of oil in the, uh, or um, water in the marinade because we wanna keep it moist. So you want this super hot, as super hot as you can get it, actually. Because, you know, once it hits it, the wok, you'll see, it's gonna cool things off. Now what you wanna do, spread it in one layer. So I'm just letting it sear, and then I'm gonna turn them over, get a nice, a nice brown on here. I wanna get it both sides, about, you know, at least 80% done, because we're gonna cook it again. Give everything a toss. And I'm gonna turn, I've just turned off the flame. And what I always say is use the bowl. This is 80% done chicken. So I'm gonna use the bowl that I marinated in because we're gonna cook it in anyways. Why wash an extra bowl, all right? So we're gonna set this aside. We're going to add a little bit more oil. All right, I'm gonna turn the flame back up, put a little garlic, and what I'm gonna do is add in the hard to cook items first. So we don't wanna add to those tender peas in, but we do want, since we're using celery, that can take some heat and take some cooking. Mushrooms also. Got it on medium high heat. OK, 
okay? Actually, I'm gonna put it on very high heat. There's not a lot of moisture in this in these vegetables right now, so you don't hear a lot of sizzling. I'm gonna put the bok choy in. And add in some Shaoxing wine. Everything's very fast going on here, and that's why you can see that, uh, that I recommend that you have uh, everything at arm's length. You don't want to be stepping it away from the wok or rummaging for things that you need. So next, I'll add these snap peas or snow peas. They cook relatively quickly. And here, Okay, I have my sink close by. I'm just gonna put add a few drops of water because these vegetables have been sitting for a while and they've kind of dried out a little bit, which is nice because you're not gonna get too soupy, things too soupy. Now I'm gonna pour the chicken in with all the juices. So you improvise a little bit. If the wok looks really dry, just spritz it with a little bit of water add a little bit more wine either way to keep things moist if it's look a little wet make sure you have the heat cranked up okay so what i'm going to do as we always do in wok cooking put everything towards the middle right to, to, so the sides superheat and i'm going to put this sauce in next i'm just going to pour it right in just make sure that we have a so I get everything from the bottom, all the sugar, anything that is settled. Okay, let that go. Pile it up and we're gonna let it heat up. Now while that's heating up, I've got my cornstarch slurry and I'm gonna, it's settled down, settled into a solid. So what I'm gonna do now is Stir it up so it's a slurry and no longer solid. Okay, so I got that ready. Now I'm going to put my bean sprouts in since they cook super quick. And again, these, uh, these are all ingredients that in the recipe that we have written, but you don't have to use all of these. And you can just add in whatever you have in the kitchen or in the refrigerator. So that's looking really good. And now some water is gonna to start to come out of the vegetable. If your wok is not as hot, you might have more liquid in there. That's okay, just make sure you turn up the heat. And also at this point, you have to decide, do you like crunchy vegetables or do you like your vegetables cooked through? If you like them cooked through, cook it a little bit longer. If you like crunchy vegetables, move quickly. And when the sauce comes up to a boil, and by now, that 80% chicken is pretty cooked. So now, I'm gonna take a little bit of cornstarch. I always say, put it a little, about half in, and try to get a little stir in like that. See how it looks. You don't have to use it all. All right, that looks pretty good, actually. I'm gonna see what that looks like. I used about three quarters of it, and this is actually the consistency you like of the chop suey. It's kind of thick, all the sauce is just sticking to the, to the food. That's what you want. Turn off the flame now so you don't have to rush. Get your plate, and then just plate it. tender pieces of chicken, those beautiful snap peas from the garden. Usually we use snow peas, but we got some fresh snap peas this year that we decided to uh, plant instead. And it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Chicken chop suey. A lot of other tasty things out there, a lot of Sichuan food, 
a lot of specialty uh, dishes that come from mainland China, and that's probably why this has gone out of vogue, but look how easy that was. Once you get your chopping skills and your prep skills down, and you set everything up, look at this. Look at this afterwards, this uh, mise en place afterwards. Just empty bowls. We used everything quickly, at arm's length, and this dish should already be at the table and then uh, served with white rice. And then later on, you come, you pile everything into the sink or into the dishwasher, and you're all set. Come on, let's go eat. Let's get some rice. Okay, mom, you're on. Put away your computer. I am. <laughs> In those days, chop suey was Maybe. not was not actually that popular because you know it's a lot of vegetables. I mean, it's not so t it's not as tasty as let's say a lot of fried foods like General Tso's chicken or sesame chicken, sesame chicken or fried chicken beef wings, broccoli. Yeah, <laughs> Here, let me give you, let me give you a little broccoli. choice of everything. We're gonna no, try this. this, and I think the signature taste of that dish is actually the celery. That's I'm correct. Never... It was celery yeah, it was and onions. Celery that's really stood out but hey how was how did i do how do you think i did with uh sui? what does that actually mean in uh in chinese to you Zap sui is another word is sap gum so it's like uh ardenance assorted um whatever you got right kind of thing. that's why i call this a fridge clean out wow mm -hmm. this is actually this is good i love the way the gravy turned out I like the sauce like this, where, where you see the sauce is starting to settle on the bottom. You just kind of mix it up a little bit, mm -hmm. and it and it's nice, and it just it just sticks to it. But hey, like I said, I wouldn't be disappointed if I, I would serve this. This is very this is very delicious. Chicken chop suey, folks, making it home. How charma? How For the home cook. Absolutely easy dish to make during the week, anytime really. Um, and it's also a great way to eat more vegetables. More vegetables. More vegetables. That's always my goal. Chicken chop suey. One more time. Chicken chop suey. Sorry, one more time. Action. <laughs> Chicken chop suey. This is it. Thank you.